do this. <laughs> but we ended up, we're, we're super close now. Oh. Ironically, I've only known them for since 2021. Wow. So my dad, where everyone's like, oh, your dad, I can't wait till her dad gets on Tyler. My dad don't have no room to talk uh, <laughs> about yeah. anything. So my dad and I's relationship was strained for years and years and years. And um, it took probably the last five years for us to get close. And I'll tell you why. I've learned along my growth journey that you just Ooh. have to meet people where they're at. Um, mm -hmm. Some people will die that way. My grandpa died that way. When you meet people where they're at and you accept people for who they are, you have a better relationship with them because you're not trying to change them into the image that you want them to be. Right. And I used to always want the dad on the TVs. Like mm -hmm. I used to want that so bad. And then I realized that's just not my story. Mm -hmm. And so my dad is the guy who owns yachts and restaurants and we drink for free and I bring my friends and we party. Yeah. And it sounds that like was, your mom's I mean, not awesome. Awful. My mom's great. My yeah. mom's my confidence. My mom's my best friend. My mom is my reason. Like, you know, mm. she is, wow, I get emotional about my mom, but like she is everything to me. And whenever I say like I have a role model, it's my mom. So yeah. Why, do, why is it your mom? Hey guys, welcome to Little Black Button 91. It's your favorite dating and relationship coach. As always, breaking stuff down for you. Listen, you know, we spoke about this a couple of, a, a week a week or two ago when we when we saw her on A Lover's Blind and she spoke about her generations, her, her, her pops, her dad and her granddad who were acting a particular way. And actually, I'll go back and I'll bring you some clips as well. She actually spoke about how her father was with her mother for what, 10 or 11 years? And he was, I think he was unfaithful because he had kids outside of her. And so that's why she's saying that her dad can't have any, anything to say about Tyler because, you know, his, her, her dad did what he did. Now, that's really intriguing because now we've found a, now we've found a repeated pattern. This is actually what we do in coaching. When I coach clients, this is essentially what I actually begin to break down for people. Right. I start breaking this stuff down. If you want some coaching, reach down below in the description box. Um, and we are still doing some emergency coaching spots if you want it as well. Right. But. This is what we discuss in coaching a lot of times. I, I talk to people and I say, we have to expose the pattern that you are willing by design and intentionality to actually follow. And you'll realize that you're following a pattern when you look back at your past and start connecting the dots with the people that you've chosen. We know going back into her past that she's dated athletes and the athletes she, she, she chose cheated on her as well. But, you know, she was with him for a very long time. She's a very loyal person. And... That loyalty, more than likely, was probably the same thing with your mum, right? Being very loyal. Loyalty is not an issue. It's only an issue when we choose the wrong people to be loyal to. And that loyalty is at the expense of our actual needs and wants. And so sometimes what can end up happening is we choose people that actually, by design, they actually break our boundaries and don't actually ever fulfill our needs. And we choose them because they are repeated. Uh, they're, they're Sorry, they are repeating what we have already experienced in our childhoods. And so we are seeing right in front of us right now how Ashley is trying to defend a man who doesn't need defending, who needs to come out and defend himself, speak up for himself about an issue that she wasn't there present to be with, about kids that is outside of her, which were before her time, about his situation, right? She has experienced kids where, you know, she, had, she discovered she had a half-brother because of what her dad had done. So she's repeating the pattern. She doesn't realize she... And maybe she does realize. Maybe she does. And let's not say that she doesn't realize. Maybe she does. Um, but you may not realize that you're repeating the same pattern by choosing someone like Tyler. She got given the information. And actually, I think that was a... I like to call it a God moment, right? Where you can choose to do something different, right? It was a critical moment. You can do something different. And many of us have had this in our life where there's that one moment where you can look back on you like... I had a choice and I chose either right or wrong and my life changed, right? And so this choice that she's made is taking her down a path. Now she will learn a lesson. It just might be a little bit late, right? Because this person has kids with someone else who actually generally he had extra kids with, more kids, right? Not just one. He had two extra, two extra a twin, sorry, I should say, right? After, okay? And some of his story is inconsistent and it's a uh, 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 field of fantasy, right? And you're sticking through it. Why? Because you're used to it. And it's a similar pattern that you've experienced in your past um, as a young individual, right? So she talks about her her dad. Let me just go slightly back. And I want you to just listen to this as well. Like with your dad growing up, was mm -hmm. he around? So my father um, was married to my mom from age one, like the baby until 10. They got divorced when I was 10. Okay. And my father as he's gone viral for his 
Has Suave he? Yes, he has. Uh -huh. It's all hey the Hey Daddy Usher song is going viral uh -huh. with it and it makes me yes. want to throw up. Yes, yes, yes. Uh I know she was pissed. Cause she looks like she was pissed off at the wedding and I know she's pissed now. Um because it's like you're going viral for being a sexy dude or whatever, but you're still you're my dad who wasn't really my dad. Do you know what I'm saying to you? And so yes, you've come in this critical moment. I wanted you to to be there, but it, there's a little bit it feels like a little bit there's a little bit of resentment. Yeah, a little bit of annoyance, you know what I mean? Like he's still getting rewarded, even though he's been he wasn't the best, he's still getting rewarded off now her back. So I can see the frustration could be there. Uh, so, <laughs> I can see it. He's a charming guy. Yeah, 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 definitely charming. He was a woman, you know, type of guy. Yeah. So ironically, in 2021, I found out I had two brothers that I didn't know about that he had during the time period that he was married to my mom, and we already knew about one of them, but we didn't know about these two. Ironically, one of them. Okay, so he already had one, but there was another one that he had a baby's on her mother, right? Now, what does that do to a child when they realize their mother? Uh, okay, their mother uh, stayed in a relationship for a little while, while her husband, their dad, has had children on the mother. It what it does, it can desensitize that child. It can make that child very resentful towards men, or it can make it resentful towards the, to, to women, towards the mother. Right? That I will never be in that situation. I'll never allow myself to be in that situation. Or it will be like I can do better than my mum. I will choose better. I will do better, and I'll make sure I get the right kind of man. Right? I won't do what my mum did. But if you don't change the inputs that are coming in and actually get new information, you will find yourself in the same cycle. No matter how much you want it, there needs to be an injection of knowledge that takes you on a different trajectory because you're gonna get an opportunity to choose differently, right? And so she's had an opportunity. That day that he confessed, it was a very difficult situation, but it was to break a generational curse. In that moment, more than likely, she sh more than likely, and again, I'm not God, so I'm not gonna say that, but in a sense of that opportune time to say no, I need something different. She doesn't do that. She chooses what she knows because that energy that Tyler's bringing, that behavior of omitting and lying, she knows it. She's experienced it before. It's familiar, but because she fell in love, it's very difficult now, which is why it was manipulation on Tyler's fault. And at this moment, she needed to have a choice to say no. The Bible talks about how the gospel is a, the, uh, um, uh, when we talk about the gospel, we talk about the light, that light of all men, right? It gives us the ability to have removed the scales from our eyes. But what it really does is it gives us the opportunity to make choice. It gives us a power to choose life over death. You always see it in the Old Testament to the New. You see Joshua talking about it. Choose whom, whom you'll serve today. Moses, choose whom you will serve today, right? Life and death. And so you have this opportunity to choose life, to choose something different, to choose something that's gonna benefit you. But in this case, she, it seems like she has chosen a path which is going to bring further generational trauma to you. So we're not breaking the bonds. We're not breaking the, the cycles, so it seems, right? From our perspective, right? We don't know how God's gonna work. I went to high school with me. Oh, oh. The same one that went to high school with me not, lived in my neighborhood and his brother was one of my really good friends. So he wrote me on Instagram in 2021 and was telling me and I was like, oh, this guy's trying to talk to me from high school. And then I open it and it's a voice note of like, I did my ancestry and your dad's my dad. And I'm like, I'm so sorry that to hear that I have enough loved ones in my life. I don't need any more. Click, you know. Now, notice how she handled that extra brother situation. I've already got enough siblings as it is. I don't need any more. I think Ashley is very detached and I don't think she realizes, you know. Now, of course, the relationship doesn't expand, but that first reaction, I get it. I actually do get it. I, 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 why would you want to know? You wouldn't want to know. I get it. But she might, she might just be a little bit more detached than she realizes. A little bit more disassociated than she realizes. Oh, and I felt bad, but I just didn't. I'm 30. Like, I don't need this. So then he wrote me again and then his brother called me who I knew from high school and he was like, you might as well give him a chance because he's never going to stop. And boy, am I glad that I did because I met them and we hit it off immediately. And I told them one day, like, I think like the second time we hung out, I was like, fuck, I'm like, I wish you guys weren't cool because I really didn't <laughs> want to do this. But we ended up, we're, we're super close now. Wow. Ironically, I've only known them for since 2021. Wow. So my dad, where everyone's like, oh, your dad, I can't wait till her dad gets on Tyler. My dad don't have no room to talk uh, <laughs> at, about yeah. anything. So my dad and I's relationship was strained for years and years and years. And, and this goes back to my very point I made about why fathers are so important in their lives of their children, because now she's saying, you can't tell me nothing. And I know that, I know that feeling. I do. I know. I know that feeling of you can't tell me nothing because the pain that you felt from your parent of being of removing the pain that your parent 
has imposed on you through the fact that we have our expectations of them, right? We see them as heroes. We see them as our, our loved ones, our parents, our carers, our guardians, our defenders, our shield. And then they shatter that experience or they shatter that perception through their behaviors that make them very human, but can also make them very much hated by you, right? And so he's cheated on a mom and, you know, had kids outside of that situation. You don't want to look at him that way. He's gone to prison from 11 to 24 as well. So not only has he broken your mom's heart, he's gone to prison too. He's disappeared. And so now he's come back into our life and it's like, I don't, I don't need you for nothing because you weren't there when I needed you, right? And you destroyed the image that I had of you. And you had kids outside of my mom, right? So remember when I said to you about how he was trying to paint this perfect picture about how, oh, you know, I, I handled my business. I'm not a deadbeat dad. Yeah, but bro, you were cheating on the mom and you went to jail, bro. And that's what I was saying to you. The way he's painting the story, it's almost like he's trying to rewrite history. Sir, that's not how your daughter feels. There's a lot of work that you need to do. Right? And so in that space, we see how painful it is for someone like, um, for Ashley. So yes, right? Now he can't turn anything to Tyler. But also that means that you've, got, you've lost a sort of, you've also lost a pair of eyes. And now you're discerning through your own discernment. But your discernment's broken. We haven't done the work yet. We haven't done the, the deep, under, the deep rooted work to really help us to see correctly the kind of person in front of us. Tyler is somebody who's manipulative, who has lied, who has, uh, uh, you know, not told the truth, has been a victim seven times, has a problem with finances, clearly, um, you know, and now is in a situation where, you know, he's going to marry, he's married you, but you start off on a lie. You start off on the premise of a lie. So now you're stuck. And you've gone forward and, and married him. And now you're covering for him. Is it no different to what you to, different to maybe what happened with your mum? Maybe you know what I'm saying. I'm not saying your mum actually did that, but we don't know. But maybe no different. It might be just it's 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 it is spawning itself in a different way. But the fact that we're giving Tyler so much leniency when we're seeing the situation for what it is, like she said, she'd rather die. She's gonna stay there to the end, right? Because she because what she's trying to break is a generational curse of being divorced. But the problem is, it's not the divorce that's an issue. It's the person you chose. It's tight. But I'm going to leave it there. Listen, look, reach down below. Listen, we've got 100 Club on tonight. Make sure you reach out to us and join our show. Or, uh, you know, if you want some coaching, there's still a few spaces left before 2025. You can join it as well. Much love, much appreciation. We'll see you again soon. Au revoir.